game of cat and mouse. This autonomy collective is no longer of any concern. We've numbed their influence on you. It's no longer anything you should consider relevant. The life you know, the life you love, the life you crave. That is all by design. It's all a dream, my man. Down to the very fabric of your little Minecraft Monday event. Zed? Hank? All things to fill in the gaps while you rest, my son. But breathe easily. Things have only started, and you're going to learn of your fate. I find it far too cruel to let you suffer. When you were a child, we, no, they, found you. Little is known of your time prior to the discovery. But the love you felt for anyone was pure energy. You trusted us as a boy. You pushed through the training and hardship we put you through. Every last part. In your dream state, you found what it meant to survive, what it meant to be human. You felt love, and your heart grew along with you. You learned what it meant to have relationships, experienced heartbreak and loss. You learned what it meant to forge bonds with those that meant something to you. You never gave up on the world. You had your minds that could be crossed, sure, but you never gave up on the life cycle, destined to be where you are now. It's bittersweet, isn't it? Like a piece of dark chocolate when you think about it. Born of bitter, ending in sugar. <laughs> it's too bad we're not at the end yet. So, we're here. Purgatory. <laughs> no, not close. You're not dead. And after this, you can go back to the simulation, back to the dream state. And depending on how you remember it, it might be worse than death. There is no family, there are no friends, there's just you, your brain, and enough coping to drive back to your bed. But you'll live. That love you hard is something magical. Sure, we can go on and on with the power of love. That shit, do you? There's no fourth wall left to break, right? There are no walls. Only that which you perceive to be walls. Only the walls they want you to perceive to begin with. The company watched you as you slept. They sure you weren't hurt or too distressed. As funny or silly as it may sound, we've been sapping your humility. We've harvested your kindness, and yes, your love. And? Well, the byproduct of that is what you know as the Void. The prospect of turning human emotion and energy into a, let's just call it a resource, results in an incredible amount of excess dark matter. Luckily, some pocket dimension they found in 73 is where we've been keeping all of it. The Beneath? Jimin's lab? That annoying defector absolutely loved to rattle on about his pocket dimension. The writing of a madman with superiority complex. Our, well, their efforts to snuff him out went effectively unnoticed. But he got with that collective. And then they started getting involved. That's where we drew the line. They're phased out of existence. They exist no more. <laughs> the collective can no longer interfere. Jimin has been dealt with. So, what is the point of this monologue? I tire of needlessly meddling in the dreams of others. I tire of the corporation. <laughs> Wait, what I get out of it? 
They can stick it to that corporation. They can take him down. Do you? Well, you go free. You live an actual life. So what do you say? Are you in or are you not?